Hi everyone, happy Monday. So glad you can join me. I'm Denise with Artist at Heart Paint Party in sunny Cleveland, Ohio. It's gonna be a beautiful day. I hope you guys had a wonderful Sunday and it's starting to look like spring here in Cleveland. The snow has melted and the daffodils are blooming and the cherry blossoms on the trees smell wonderful. So we're gonna create some beautiful springtime artwork today. And we're gonna warm up, warm up, hands warm up. And again, you can use computer paper if you're new. Any kind of paper you have is great. I like to do a sloppy copy first. And I'm gonna use marker so you can see it from far away. Now, if I was at home doing this by myself, I would use pen, pencil, I would sketch it all out. Again, on a sloppy copy, any kind of scrap paper just to practice. I'm gonna do mine on canvas at 16 by 20 with acrylic paint. Some people have been asking me for supply lists. So if you email me, go to my website, artistandheart.org. You can email me, you can message me, you can check in here. If you're on Facebook, check in at Artist and Heart Pay Party. There's my website, Rachel's helping us today. So artistandheart.org. You can see all the photos that I've been uploading on the page. You can see other projects that we're doing. Again, you can email me, you can message me, you can check in, you can tag me. I love to see what you guys are up to. And then later in the broadcast, we will bring you on the screen if you'd like to share your artwork or something that you did fun yesterday. Uh, all right, so I'm gonna start with a sloppy copy. I'm gonna start with some dragonflies. So I'm gonna start with the head and the wing, and you do not have to keep up with me. Go at your own pace. They could overlap each other, or they don't have to overlap each other. Up to you. You can make the body all out of little circles if you want to. You can make it one long body. You can put lines inside the wing or you can leave the wing plain. So many options. I am not going to tell you what to do because you and I have different tastes. You're going to like it one way. I'm going to like it another way. Maybe we like it the same way. But you're going to Create your own artwork with your own style, with your favorite colors. And again, I'm not sure what stores have in stock right now. So the supply list that I gave people, you can use online, order at Walmart, at Target, at Michael's Crafts. So those are, again, just... Uh, a few places that I get my supplies from, and I'm not sure, but I use acrylic paint. Tempera is also really nice for kids. It's washable and it's opaque, which means you can't see through it. And acrylic paint is also opaque. You can't see through it. Acrylic paint is washable while it's wet. Once it dries on your clothes, it sets. If you wash it that day, it's okay. But I really like acrylic paint. I like the colors. It's water-based, non-toxic. Uh, again, if you want a list of supplies, I'd be happy to share them with you. I also recommend uh, you can use sketchbooks, which, which are great. The thicker the paper, the less likely it is to buckle. And uh, I use canvas. Mine are about three-fourths of an inch thick. Uh, but panels are flat, but they're still canvas, so they don't buckle. Or again, you can use a thicker paper. Totally up to you, whatever you have access to, use it. Cardboard, Amazon boxes, whatever it is that you have in stock, use it. Okay, so now that I'm done with my sloppy copy, I am going to trace it out on the canvas. So let's start with, um, I'll put some of my dragonflies in here. You can put as many as you want to. You can do butterflies instead. I'm definitely gonna do a butterfly painting soon. So I, I like dragonflies too, they're cool. And I just started doing uh, parties online. So I posted it this weekend. They're $75 for whoever you want, you and your friends and your family. You can do it on Zoom or you can actually use this platform, which is we could do a Facebook Live 
and we could actually do it through this stream yard if you want to. Uh, Zoom is cool too. That's the way I've done it so far because you can have as many people as you want to. You have your supplies just like we're doing now. So you can order supplies or you can use what you have. You get to pick out the painting you want to do. You pick out the time and the dates and then you invite all your friends and together we have a live paint party. So it's just like this except it's you and your friends. It's a private party. People are doing it for birthdays, graduation, Mother's Day, Mom's Night In instead of Out, Mom's Night In. Okay, so that's the idea of, you know, the sun and your dragonflies. And I'll just sketch out some flowers. You can do any kind of flowers you want. So let's say I'll put a tulip over here. You can do daffodils. I wish I knew the names of these flowers. You know those white puffy flowers? So I'm overlapping them. And then those like purple looking flowers. I want to call them bluebells, but I'm not sure exactly what they're called. So where these X's are, that's where I'm going to put my purple bluebells. But I don't know exactly. I don't know a lot about flowers other than they're really pretty. And you could always add more. You could add these. You could add tall grass. Again, you don't have to sketch it all out. That's just to give you a basic idea. Sorry, my painting's a little crooked. Get it? All right. And again, paint brushes, if you're gonna order supplies, just don't order the cheap ones, like those cheap plastic ones, because they don't absorb paint. You need like the middle of the road. You can get a really nice pack of paint brushes for like four, like three or four paint brushes for five, six dollars. Just don't get like the pack of 100 for 99 cents. Or the dollar store, usually they're plastic. And again, think plastic does not absorb liquid so it wouldn't absorb the paint. Now I'm going to start with my sun and I'm going to just use some yellow. Here's my plate. I know you guys like to see my plate. You can scoop some white up if you want to. So here's my brush. It's a round paint brush. I'm just going to go right over my dragonfly because I know I'm going to be able to see through it. But if you guys don't feel comfortable with that, go ahead and paint around it. So I'm just going to go right through it because I can still see it. And I'm using a circular motion. I like to see my brush strokes. My brush strokes are following the direction of the drawing. So I'm following the brown circle. Hope you guys did fun stuff this weekend. I was going to give it to you today. I was going to ask you guys, can you find songs that have to do with dragonflies, springtime, Mondays, and then we'll have Alexa. You're gonna, you can write them to Rachel. Rachel's there behind the scenes. She'll be messaging you guys, and you guys can message each other. And if you can come up with any fun songs, we'll have Alexa play them. And if you don't have Alexa, but you do have a way to play music, play your own music, because I just love music while I'm painting. I think it's really nice. Relaxes me. All right. And then the next step I would do would be to do the blue sky. Now, you can wait a little bit to let yours dry. Again, you do not have to keep up with me. I want you to take your time. You don't have to get done when I get done. I paint quick. So I'm going to do my blue sky. Now, what's going to happen if I bump into the wet yellow with my blue sky? I'm going to get green. So I want you to be really careful as you do your blue. And if you're using watercolor paint, you can outline everything with crayon or marker. And you can do it. But don't do it while it's wet because then it'll rip the paper. So do it while it's dry. Ah, Alexa, play Afternoon Delight. So if you have an Alexa, hopefully it plays it. 
if you don't have an Alexa, you can play it yourself. So, nah, 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 nah. I don't know the words, but I know this music. Do 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 So again, my paint is gonna follow the direction. So I'm gonna follow that curve of a circle. So I got a little yellow in my blue. I got a little bit of green in there. No one knows your mistakes, but whoever you tell. So I just told you. But maybe I meant to do that. We'll let everybody else think that it was I meant to do it. I make mistakes, you guys, all the time. What can I do? I can do it again, or I can cover it up, or I can make it into something. I love when you guys think outside the box. The other day when we were doing the sports theme, and uh, one of the girls, she did her all of her sports equipment inside the shape of a heart, which I loved. I didn't think of that. So I thought that was a great idea. And then when Benjamin uh, did his silhouettes on top of the sports balls, he I said, "How did what made you think of that? And he said he ran out of canvas. Well, who would have known that? I mean, I thought it was a great idea. So he was trying to you can, guys can always layer your artwork again. It never has to be done. That's what I was doing this weekend. I was going over stuff. I was adding to it. I was outlining it. You know, if I if I felt like it needed more color, I would go back into it. So many times, like just keep adding to my artwork. So I just painted right over my dragonfly, but I can still see the outline. You guys probably can't see it on the screen, but I know it's there. It'll just make it easier for me to paint it in later. Is the sun out where you are? Is it a gorgeous day like it is here? Okay, so I'm gonna make my blue go down, but I'm gonna do the bottom part green. So I'll just make my blue go about that far. So it's a little bit hard to paint from the side, so my circle is not great. And I don't want to stand in front of the camera, but you get the idea. So I would, once we're off the screen, I'll go back around it and make it a little bit more circular. And if you are thinking about having a private party, you can definitely go to the website, artistatheart.org, and look at all the different ideas. So we, we, would, we could do something that we've done that you missed, or we could do something that's different and new. And again, go to the website so you can see all the different stuff that I do, get some ideas. I love when you guys share this stuff with your classmates, with your friends, your family, your neighbors. That, that's great. That makes me super happy. I also love to see your artwork. All right, so there's the blue sky. I'm gonna throw some green in there. So we're layering it, okay? So I'm like doing the background and I'm layering it forward. So I'll do the green. I'm just doing some vertical grass. See how I'm overlapping it on top of the blue so it looks like it's closer to us than the sky. And again, you do not have to keep up with me. Summertime. Mungo Jerry. Okay. Alexa, play Summertime by Mungo Jerry. I don't know that song. I think that's a new song, huh? Well, new for me. I've never even heard of Mungo Jerry.
You could add white finger grass to make it lighter. You could add yellow. You could put bugs in your grass. You could put bugs on your flowers. You could put a zombie in your garden. I can't remember his name, but he was on Friday and he requested zombies in a cemetery. Okay, this would be a painting where you could put it, you can make a zombie flower, you can make a zombie dragonfly, you can make a zombie cemetery. I, I don't foresee myself doing zombies unless it's Halloween. In Halloween, I like to do haunted houses. I, I, I really don't think I've ever done a zombie, but it's a possibility. It's just right now I'm in my spring mode. All right, so you get the idea, and let's start working into our dragonflies. Again, do your dragonflies any color you want. I'm going to do mine some purple, maybe some. I'll do the big one over here, purple. And again, you could add the design to your wing. You can do it now, or you can paint it in and then add your design later. So my yellow is still wet. So you're gonna see a little bit of yellow through that, but that's okay, it's gonna look cool. What else can I do? Well, I can give it a second coat if I'm patient and I let it dry. Patience, patience, patience. You just wait patiently and let it dry. That one has a lot of color in it because my blue and my purple are wet. So I just put a little white on my brush. And I have all these different colors on there. And it looks pretty cool. I'll throw, how about a little? Use whatever colors you like. You want to put clouds in the sky? Put clouds in the sky. You want to put a rainbow? Put a rainbow. The sun. Oh, we have the sun. You know, Wednesday is Earth Day. We're going to do something for Earth Day. I had a big project planned. We're doing these really cool beach glass projects. And obviously, we're not anymore. All my jobs have been canceled or postponed. So I just added a little orange just to make it a little different. I'm going to let it dry, then I'll do the black body. And I can start putting in some flowers in my garden. I'm going to try to go where it's a little bit drier. Looks like a tulip. Let's put some little tulips in. Daffodils. Daffodils don't last that long. And then those White flowers, those are really puffy. You can just tap, 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 tap. They're longer. And I have a lot of different colors on my brush right now. And I'm just tap, 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 tap. This is a little bit harder to do with watercolor paint, just tapping it because acrylic paint's thicker. So I can get a texture with it. You 
You could put a couple of those in wherever you want to. Tap, 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 tap. You put roses. Think about orchid. Let's think of all the flowers you could name. How about a song with flowers? We did wish flowers. Remember the blow flowers we did a while back? You put some of those in there. Let's put some of those purple flowers. Anybody think of the name of those purple flowers? I'm going to make some more purple. So I'm just using these little, I'm using the bristle in my brush. It's a pointy brush. You see that? Looks really different from up close to far away, doesn't it? You can add pink in there, white. And again, my background's pretty wet. Let's do the bodies. So your bodies can be little circles or you can make them, you know, long lines. So I'm going to do a circle head. I'm using black paint. I wanted my background to dry a little bit. There's my three heads. And again, you could do the body circular. So you can do circle, circle, circle. And then the circles get smaller as you work your way down. So I could do another circle. So the head would be the biggest. And then as you work your way down, they get a little bit smaller. Now, if you worked on stuff yesterday and you want to share it, I'd love to see it. If you've been working on stuff that we've been working on and you've added to it, I know the girls in Florida were adding to their shoes. So you can also do that, which is really cool, and share it with us. Let's put some stems on these things. So let's give, I have a little bit of black on my brush and I scooped up some green and I'm just doing some vertical lines to my flowers. So it looks like a stem and they're not perfectly straight. You can add leaves on your flowers. You could add more flowers. Again, you could fill it up. You can add designs in your wings. I'm trying to use colors that show up. For you guys, you know, necessary, like I might use different colors if I wasn't. That's why I keep looking at the screen to see if you guys can see that. So I'm just going back into my wings. I want to get a contrast from the background. So I want you to see it. If the color is really close to the background color, it's not as easily, not as easy to be seen. Just like the yellow, I don't want to use yellow on top of the yellow sun because it's hard to see, so I'm putting some orange in there. Red would be good. Purple would be good. I'm 
as long as you can see it. Cool, right? Pretty good. So you guys, what I want you to start thinking about, again, is you can come on the screen. You can share with us anything that you did. I love when you come up with different ideas. If you tried something new, if you added more flowers, if you put a little bumblebee on one of the flowers, if you added more dragonflies, maybe you have one dragonfly, maybe you have designs in the wing. If you, if you want to add designs, so what I could do is I could let this dry and then go back into it and add some wings inside the, I'm sorry, add some designs inside the wing. But I definitely want to let that dry before I do that. Dragonflies have the coolest wings. So Rachel's going to give you guys a StreamYard link. What that does is you click on the link and it brings you into the green room. The green room is a waiting room. So you don't come right on the screen. And it only allows a certain amount of people in there at one time. So if you don't get in the green room, you just have to try again in a couple minutes because everyone tries to come on at, at the same time and then we can't get everybody in. So uh, again, click on the StreamYard link that Rachel's going to put up there. And then you just kind of wait until she brings you up on the screen. Just say where you're from, what you're working on. Share anything with us that you want to. And then we'll bring the next person up. So you got to pay attention to your screen. Don't mute yourself. We want to be able to hear you, but turn your volume down so it's not echoing. Because it is on a delay. So it'll like echo from a minute before. So uh, I'm going to just scoot this stuff over so I can see the screen. Don't forget to tell us where you're from. Hi. Hi. I'm Tyler from Toledo, Ohio. And I'm Kalea from Toledo, Ohio. This is mine. Cool. That looks great. And this is my, my. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks. You're welcome. Thanks for sharing. Bye. Bye. Hi. Gabrielle is an expert and we can't hear you. Oh, that looks really pretty. Can't hear you. That's really pretty. Look at her apron too. That's a springtime apron. Thanks, Gabriella. You know what she just said? She said, oh, I'm going to be the next Bob Ross. <laughs> Hi. Hi. I'm from St. Benedict, PA, and this is mine so far. Oh, that looks really pretty. Thank you. Thank you for doing this. You're welcome. Thanks for doing it with me. You're welcome. Hey, Danny. Hi. Hi, Denise. Hi, Denise. Hi, Danny. How are you today? Good. This is my art trick I did before your class, and this is the art work I did now. We missed you on Saturday. Thank you. Bye. You're welcome. Thanks, Danny. I'll miss you. Bye, Denise. Bye. Hello, Ava. I'm Ava Turek from the great town of Elmhurst in Illinois, and this so far is my art piece. Ooh, that looks pretty. I wasn't able to do this whole art thing on Thursday because I did a group chat with my whole class, and I was able to draw this on it, a little elephant. Oh, that's awesome. I named it Emelina. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic, Ava. Thanks yes. for sharing it. You're welcome. Thank you for doing this. You're welcome. We missed you on Thursday. 
an idea when uh, keeping me on my toes. Okay. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Bye bye. Hi. Hi. I'm Melville and I'm from Gretna, Nebraska, and I joined late, so I'm not quite finished. That looks great, and you can take your time. I really like those colors. Thank you. Thank you for joining us. Hi, Luna. Hi, Luna. Me on my toes. Hi, Thank you so much. You're awesome. Really? That was good. Uh, Aw, <laughs> thanks. Hi. Hi. This is mine. Oh, Jalen, that's so cute. That's so little. I love it. Thank you. Thank you for doing this. Send me a picture. Okay. You guys, don't forget to check in. You can check in at Artist and Heart Paint Party. You can email me a photo. You can tag me in your photo on Facebook. I love seeing your artwork, and I love posting it. So, oh, that was Rachel. Rachel, oh. Hi, I'm here. Oh, yes. Um, there's a couple people that can't see the link. So it's, it, I said if you'd like to come on live, click the link. There's a link under that comment. So it's in the comment section. Okay, so if you can't find the link, it says StreamYard, and it's under the comments section. But you won't come right on the screen. You're going to be in the green room waiting, and then Rachel will bring you up on the screen. So you just have to pay attention. Uh, I, um, I am from Pennsylvania, and this is my art so far. Very pretty. Nice colors. Thank you. I'm still going to shade some of it in. Um, but thank you for doing this. You're welcome. Thanks for watching. You too. Um, Hi. I am from Pennsylvania. Hi. Hi. Very pretty. Hi, I'm nice from colors. Florida. And, um, thank you. This I'm is still my picture some so video. far. Um, but thank you for doing this. You're welcome. Thanks for watching. You too. And um, I, I thank you for doing this. Where are you from? Very pretty. Hi, I'm nice from and, um, Thank you. Don't forget, turn your volume down, you guys. Just turn it down a little bit. Otherwise, we're going to hear the echoing from a few seconds before because it's on a delay. Hi, I see you there. Hi, Hi. Tom. Hi, Layla. Hi, Carolina. Hi. Um, so, this is my. That looks great. I love the flower. This is mine. Very nice. And hold yours up. Okay. And um, this is mine. I love it. Is your favorite color blue? Yeah. Mm, I could tell. It looks great. Thank you for sharing. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Thanks, Rach. Hi. Hi. Um, this is mine so far. And um, this is one that we did last time. Oh, that looks great. And um, your favorite color blue? Yeah. <laughs> and um I um had an idea that we could do um like a pet theme sometime. Oh, I like it. We could do a pet theme. Thank you. Thanks. Bye. Hi. Hi, Abby. Um, this is mine so far. Oh, great. Thank you so much for doing this. You're welcome. Thanks for joining us. Have a nice day. Thank you. Hi, Reagan. Hi. Um, this is my hot air balloon from Friday. Oh, it came out great. Thank you. And this is my dragonfly painting so far. Ooh, pretty. Take your time. You don't have to rush because of me. Thank you. Hi. Hi. I'm from Hong, Ashland, Ohio. Sorry, it's loud in here. Say hi. And I'm from 
Just say hi. And I'm a seven. Say thank uh, you. And thank you for doing this. You're welcome. Thanks for watching it. That's great. Keep it up. Hi, Kate. Hi. Um, today I decided to do something a little different. Okay. So I did this. Oh, that looks cool. And I also made this painting. Oh, very nice. That looks like some sunflowers. Yeah, I love it. Very nice. Thank you for doing this today. Wow. Thanks for doing it. Thank you. Thanks for thinking out of the box and doing your own thing. Hi, Jessica. Can you hold it up a little higher? Thank you. Oh, you guys, that was awesome. That's my favorite part. So and painting is fun too. Don't forget to pay it forward. Maybe you can mail your artwork to someone. Maybe you can mail it to a, you know, a nurse, a doctor, a nursing home, the, give it to the mailman, uh, hang it in your window, make a card for someone. Mother's Day is gonna come up. We'll do a special Mother's Day project for somebody. Uh, maybe you, again, share it with your classmates, invite your classmates, do it together with your classmates. After this is, this goes live, but after it's live, it's recorded and you can watch the recordings on Facebook as well as on YouTube. So those are the two ways you can watch the recordings. And, you know, we go live every day at noon, Eastern Standard Time, and you can come on again. So Jennifer's here in the green room. And if you haven't come on, hi, Jennifer. Hi. Hi. This is my painting. Here. And my sister, um, she has these paint things, and she did this. Oh, that's great. She's this one right here. She's so cute. You like in your old? Bye. Bye. I'm, I'm from Deckerville, Michigan. Thank you. Hi, girls. I'm, 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 I'm not finished putting the flowers yet. And also, this little dragonfly isn't finished. Oh, yeah, this is yours. Yeah, thank you. Sure. This is mine. I decided I, to put the black, black thorn brush over here, whatever, and like some flowers on it. Very nice. I like that you guys added to your shoes this weekend. So those look great, too. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Hi. Hi. I forgot to show this oh, one. Oh, wow. That came out. I had to watch it record it. That's beautiful. Thank you. What a great idea. My mom used, used vinyl to cut out the volleyball, so I wouldn't have to paint them in there. That's really nice. It looks really good. Thank you. Sure. Thanks for sharing it. Hi, Jessica. Oh, no, I can see it. Yay. Thank you. Bye. I couldn't see it before. That's awesome. So, yes, there's some fancy machines out there that can cut stencils. So just like I showed you guys, if you go online and look for free images, you can trace them. Or if you have a printer, you can print them out. Uh, but some people have these machines where it actually cuts them out for them, which is awesome. I just don't know how to do that. So I taught for art for 20 years and I used to just have the kids freehand it or trace it. And again, if you have a computer screen and you put your paper up on the computer screen, you can trace the image or if you have an iPod, whatever you have. I've seen people do it on their phone, except your phone's kind of small. So your image would be smaller. But that's just another way to do a silhouette. I love that you guys are doing your own thing. I love that you're thinking outside the box, coming up with your own ideas. Tomorrow, I'm going to talk about an artist named Roy Lichtenstein, and we're going to do a fruit bowl, but of course, you can change it up. So if you have fruit at home, whether it's plastic, fake, or real, you can use it as inspiration to look at, to study, to draw. You can start practicing tonight if you want to. Again, that was something else that I had to do in college. I would have to study like vegetables and fruit from the inside and the outside and like study real like a seed and all the colors that you see in a seed or multiple seeds. So again, we're going to do uh, a still life, which means it's not moving, a fruit bowl tomorrow. And again, you could do any kind of fruit you want. You could do a pineapple, you could do apples, oranges, peaches, plums, 
blueberries and we're going to do a bowl and we're going to do some patterns. There's a couple more kids that want to come up on the screen. So go ahead, Rach. Yeah, you give me a... Hi. Hi, Danny. How are you today? <laughs> this is oh, a long, long time ago. That was great. And this is... Uh, and and I like you, and you do a very great job. Thanks for doing this. You. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, Bye. Tuesday. Bye. Bye, Danny. Hi, Liam. Hi, Liam. Hi, I'm Liam. I'm from Florida. This is mine from today. Wow, and I love all your artwork all around you. I love all the pictures around you. That looks awesome. Thank you. You're welcome. Thanks for doing it. Bye. Bye. He has his own little art studio. Hi. Hi. Um, my dad had an idea where um, we could have our own little Facebook page for people that do this every day so that we could talk about stuff. That's a good idea. Um, I have to figure out how to do that. And I know a lot of kids cannot go on Facebook by themselves. So a lot of the kids that are coming on are doing it under their parents' accounts. But I can try to, I can try to come up with something like that. Let me think about it. Thank you, Bye. That's a good idea. Again, if you guys are really into technology and you can figure out a way to do something like that, or you can communicate on my Facebook page. A lot of people on my Facebook page communicate, but I don't know if you're a kid, if you have access to that. So that, that's how this whole thing started was I do a lot of stuff in the community and I have about, I had about 2000 people that followed my page, mostly mothers, and they would come to, to paint with me every month, okay, a couple times a month at whatever restaurant I would happen to be at. Sometimes they would have private parties. And when this whole thing happened and kids were uh, told to stay at home and do school at home, initially everyone was like panicking. How am I going to do this? What am I going to do? And I said, do you guys want me to just teach your kids some art? So my intention was the first week to teach you guys as much as I possibly could in a week. And then you guys would, you know, be on your own. Well, here we are. This is our sixth week. Can you believe it? This is our sixth week doing this. And I'm having fun just like you guys are having fun. I love doing this, but I wouldn't do it if it wasn't for you. If you guys weren't watching and doing it with me, I would just be at home by myself doing my art on my own. This is way more fun with you guys doing it for me. I don't know how long I'm going to do it because, you know, I'm hoping that the restaurants start opening back up and then I could start having my jobs again. So right now I, I'm, I'm not working. Again, I'm offering uh, paint parties online. So they're private paint parties that you could do with your friends and family for $75. And you get to pick out your painting and have your group privately. And it would just work very similar to this where you would have all your own supplies or I could give you a supply list. And then we create together. It's actually pretty fun. So check out the website, artistatheart.org. Please message me your photos. You can email me on the website. If you go to the website, I have the email there, I have the Facebook page there, I have the YouTube channel there, my Instagram is there. All those different means of contacting me is on my website, plus you get to look at all the other photos on there as well. And the canvas tab, it says canvas paintings, that's where you can see all of my canvas paintings that I have. Or if you have another idea and you want to send me a picture of that, you can do that as well. I will see you tomorrow. Tomorrow we're doing Roy Lichtenstein's Fruit Bowl. Wednesday we're celebrating Earth Day. I hope you guys have a great day. I can't wait to get outside and enjoy this weather. You have a fabulous day. Stay, uh, stay safe, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Thanks again. Bye.